Okay, the topic uh, in Algebra 1, this is called uh, negated inequalities. And uh, we've had, uh, we've already talked about what inequalities are before, and we've graphed those. So, for example, uh, let's review that a little bit. How about if we had um, x is less than or equal to uh, 2? Now, remember, you had that uh, bunch of notes that you took on your quick reference page. If it's, we want to show numbers on a number line that are less than or equal to 2. Now, remember, if there's that line underneath the inequality, it's a filled-in circle. So we put a, a closed circle or a filled-in circle on 2. Now, since it's less than, then we would shade everything to the left of 2. And what this was saying, then, is anything in the shaded area, including the closed circle, would make this statement true. So, for example, since it's a closed-in circle, it includes 2. Now, is 2 less than or equal to 2? Yes, it is. It's, it's equal to 2. Remember when we read the statement less than or equal, it has to be one or the other. It doesn't have to be both. Or, for example, we see that um, a negative 1 is in that shaded area. If we put a negative 1 in for x into this statement, does it make it true? Yes, it does, because a negative 1 is less than or equal to 2. And then we went the other way. For example, say you already have the number line, what's the inequality that goes with it? Well, um, what's being shown here? There's an open circle on a negative 2. So I'm going to start by putting a letter. It can be any letter. I'll choose x. And what are we showing here? We're showing numbers that are greater than a negative 2. So anything in the shaded area would make this true. For example, a negative 1. A negative 1 is greater than a negative 2. Now, a negative 2 is not included because there's an open circle on a negative 2. So that's why I do not have a line underneath the inequality. I just have x is greater than a negative 2. Now, back to our topic, we're going to continue with this, and we're going to go a little bit more in depth and talk about what are called negated inequalities. Negated means the opposite. So before we start, I want you to pause this screen here in a moment, and I want you to create the two columns and the symbols. So now before you do that, let me uh, draw some arrows here just to, so you can see what, how these match up. Um, so these are matching up. And what I want you to do is pause this and then and copy this down exactly as I have it. All right, what's this, what does this screen mean? Um, let's, I'm going to start over on the right side, the blue here. The way I would read this inequality, I would read it as not, okay, because of the slash through it, not greater than or equal to. For example, and this is a little tough to understand at first. For example, if, if I wanted numbers that are not greater than or equal to 2. Now let me read that again. What are numbers, what's a number or numbers that are not greater than or equal to 2? Well, you would give me numbers that are less than 2. So a number that's not greater than or equal to 2 would be a number less than 2. So I guess the, to keep this simple, this sign this sign here, the less than, and this sign here, the not greater than or equal, mean the same thing. They mean the same thing. And until you get used to this, that's why I really want you to make sure you have this in your notes. So, um, the less than and the uh, not greater than or equal mean the same thing. Um, I'm going to put a slash through that one. All right, now, what's, how would I read this one here? I would read this as not greater than. So, for example, give me a number that is not greater than uh, 4. Give me a number that's not greater than 4. Well, you would give me a number then that's less than or equal to 4. So, less than or equal and not greater than mean the same thing. And we'll talk more about this in class also. Now, if I go down to this one, I would read this as not less than or equal to. So a number, for example, a number that's not less than or equal to 5 would be a number then that's actually greater than 5. So the greater than 
and the not less than or equal mean the same thing. And down here, the last one, not less than, which is there, means the same thing as greater than or equal to. All right, let's, we'll refer back to this page. Now let's, go, let's talk about where this is all going. I want you to pause this and copy down example one. All right, now in example one, they want you to draw a number line and graph numbers that are not greater than or equal to two. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to make your number line. So let's do that. Let's make a number line. And I want to show numbers that are not, not greater than or equal to two. Now, what's not greater than or equal to two mean? Well, I go back to your uh, page here. You go back to your notes. And let's find the symbol not greater than or equal to. It's right here. So this, is, this sign means the same as, as this. So I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to write this as x less than 2. These mean the same thing. What I have in the black and what I have in the red mean exactly the same thing. A number not greater than or equal to 2 is exactly the same as a number that's less than 2. So now I graph numbers less than 2. So let's do that. So I'll have 3, 2, 1, and I'll make my uh, number line. And it's an open circle. And I'll shade everything to the, uh, the left. This would show numbers less than 2. Or in other words, numbers that are not greater than or equal to 2. Numbers that are not greater than or equal to 2 would be a number less than 2. All right, copy down example 2. All right, now that you've done that, example 2 here. They want us to show numbers that are not less than th negative 3. Show numbers that are not less than a negative 3. So I go back to my notes. Uh, let's see, not less than. That's down here. What's not less than mean? It means this, greater than or equal to. So I rewrite it, and I rewrite it as um, greater than or equal to a negative 3. Now I'm going to graph it. So I throw some numbers in. And I want to show numbers that are greater than or equal, so it's a filled in circle, a negative 3. All right, example 3. Copy it down, pause this and copy it down. All right, example 3 now, as we've done before with inequalities, they want us to go the other way. Now, we've got the number line. They want you to write the inequality and the negated inequality. So here's how you do this. First of all, let's write the uh, inequality. What's this showing? Well, it's showing numbers that are greater than or equal because it's a filled in circle and it's shaded to the right. So greater than or equal to negative 1. That's my inequality. Now, how do you write your negated inequality? Well, you can go back to your notes. Let's see, we had greater than or equal. So you go back to your notes and you find greater than or equal. It's right here. What's the negated inequality for that? This. So not less than. So this would be my negated inequality. Now, before we do this last example, let's maybe just talk a little bit how you can do these without using that note page. How do you write the negated inequality for this? Look at the relationship here. And actually, I'm going to go back to the note page just to show this. Um, I'm going to put this in yellow here. Don't know if you'll be able to see it real well. But what's the relationship between this and this? Well, let's start here. You flip the sign. If there's not an equal, if there's not a line underneath it, you put one underneath it. And then you put a slash through it. Let's go look at this one. You flip the sign. If there is an equal, if there's a line underneath it, we don't put a line underneath it, and then, then the not through it. And we'll talk more about this in class too. Let's do one more. Greater than, flip it. If there's not a line underneath it, you put one there, and then put the slash through it. So that's just another way you can get these or reason through these. All right, let's do one more. Pause uh, example four and write it down. Okay, let's write the inequality first. It's showing numbers 
Uh, lesson one. Open circle, no line underneath it, right? Lesson does not include one. Now, let's write the negated inequality. Let's try to do this without using your notes. So you flip the sign. Uh, if there's not an equal, if there's not a line underneath it, you write one and then put a slash through it. So x less than 1 or x not greater than or equal to 1 are exactly the same thing. This would be our inequality and our negated inequality. So negated inequalities is the topic of, of this lesson.